Hello there folks, so today we're checking out Mailbrew, it's a personal daily newsletter. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on it, uh, also showing you how I'm going to set it up. I've been and had it for about 22 months now. Um, but I haven't really set it up whatsoever. Uh, and I wanted to give you my thoughts on how it works and some of the integrations you can get with it and really just review it overall and give you my opinions. You can check out the link in the description to it. It is an affiliate link if you do decide to go with it or not. So it is free. They do have a free plan. Um, but as you can see here, this is what it looks like inside. Um, I'll show you what I actually have from my email. So this is on my email uh, client tempo too. You can see that it's a very simple daily brew and as you can see you've got the date and I put product hunt here originally um, so there is obviously uh, some integrations that you can play with and it looks really nice um, and what it's aiming to do is condense emails into one place so let's have a little play around with it so in order to do that you can press um, edit and as you can imagine you can start by choosing the actual time that you want it to land and I probably want it to land about 8 15 because that's when I sort of my brain switches on. And you can see here that you can preview what it looks like before you actually get started. But it basically it's like little widgets. So I've been recently thinking maybe it'd be nice to start with the old weather. So I can actually add the sort of area I'm from and uh, I can add that here. And you can see down in the bottom right hand corner it's asking the forecast interval for every five days or the day. Yeah, well I'll put the five day one and empirical. Empirical? No, I want metric. And you can also change the style. So this is on, I'm guessing this is on the pro version uh, that I'm on now, um, which is $4.99 per month, which is a little bit steep, um, it, depending on how you think of it, um, because obviously a lot of like productivity apps are like that price, um, but it depends how much you sort of want to get dense your noon into one place. I'd say it's a little bit steeper on price, but also for those who want to bring everything into one place, it could be a lot nicer. You can make it ultra wide, Okay, ah, so it's bringing it in through AccuWeather, which I think is quite reliable. Um, I've used them a couple of times for the Grand Prix uh, and checking the weather, and uh, normally it's been right, especially with the last few races at least. <laughs> so uh, you can also bring in uh, your events, so you can connect it to your Google Calendar, and which I'm gonna do now. Okay, dokey, so I'm gonna bring this up one up a tad higher even though I'm British, uh, weather probably is less important than what's actually on for the day. And what I'm gonna do is, is just uh, add some more elements down here. Okay, so I can add Readwise. I actually saw this one that they, um, they set up uh, in email. So I'll get my token for this. Okay, stunning. So now I've got my Readwise in there from the last books that I've taken. Can I get, can I choose um, specifically how and what came in on the last ones. I can include three quotes. Ah, okay, so it's obviously on my daily review, so stuff that comes in on my daily review to do. So that's quite cool. I've now got Readwise there. I can add things like podcasts or Hacker News or Beta List. I can add certain stocks that I'm following, maybe Google News, um, exchange rates, COVID-19 stuff, and you can decorate stuff by adding text as well. So um, what I might do is add some text here um, yeah. okay, so I can put something. Ah, okay, so it's in Markdown, sorry, hello. Okay, so they got some Markdown syntax, which is pretty cool. So I can bring this, oh, I can use the arrows. Uh, this is, I think, the Safari version isn't as good uh, with the old uh, dragging of stuff. So I can put that at the top and say hello to myself, guessing I can write Francesco. So uh, I could also uh, use save articles or website RSS feeds that I might be interested in or, or Reddit daily quotes or any newsletters that I can bring in. That was something that was quite interested in. Uh, but you can also set up searches for Twitter. So if you're following a specific topic, like an event you're going to soon or something like that, you can also f uh, add single user tweets tweets. So I do like connecting up um, the likes of uh, Forte Labs tweets. So let's connect those up. Okay, so Tiago's going on my feed. There he is. I'm going to go with his latest ones and uh, I'm going to click done. So there we go. I've got Tiago's tweets in this email. Uh, this is going well so far. <laughs> um, I'm also going to add uh, a podcast that I've also been listening to uh, called Side Hustle which seems quite interesting so far, Side Hustle School. So maybe if new episodes come out, I can get them through here. I can add a few more of them, so that's ideal. Uh, and I can bring that down if I want to. 
But what I want to do is I want to customize it a little bit in terms of what I see on certain things. So before I actually go and agree with everything, um, I'm going to make uh, some changes. Uh, that's that's fine. The style's fine on the text. Is there any way that I can make it bigger? Yeah. Okay. And I can make it a card. Oh no. I think I've done something wrong there. No, I'm going to go with simple. Um, oh no, maybe it was something I did, compact. Oh no, I've killed it. Let me refresh. Oh no! Oh, thank God. Okay, so it's got an autosave feature, guys, which is great. Um, in case you do delete stuff at any given time. Can't see anything here that allows me to get back into this. I think that's just because of the way that the the way that the CSS is set up on uh, the old uh, Safari. Let's see. So, ah, here. So this is quite interesting. So with this mail brew, you could even include things like tweet, brews, lists, images, uh, affiliate links. So I'm guessing you can get other people to sign up to your, your, your brews. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click done editing. And essentially what I should see is a preview now. Here we go. So if I preview, I can see what it looks like. It looks, it doesn't look nicely ordered, does it? <laughs> so I can use the reorder feature uh, to bump up certain things. I like the date. Uh, I think that would be nice when you see it. I'm gonna put the calendar a little bit higher. Let's just get rid of that at Francesco thing. That was just for demonstration purposes. Maybe I wanna start the day with the read wise and the weather and then finish with product hunt and I'm going to click done. So that looks a little bit more. I'm going to make this less wide on the styling so it's compact. So it's sort of like is all streamlined and I'm pretty happy to go. So that's going to be in my next issue. So if I go back here, um, I can see all of the previous issues I had. So basically, this is set to private at the moment, but if somebody wanted to come in and actually see the, the next issue, then they can do. So I'm all ready to go and I can even publish it to subscribers. So I'm just gonna check what I can do on the side of settings side. So I, ah, I see what's happening here. So I can actually subscribe to newsletters in Mailbrew. So subscribe to newsletters with this address and you'll receive the issues in your next brew. So that's quite nice. So you won't necessarily get it as a separate email you'll get it inside your next one. So here's one about like a modular cal a cut keyboard and things like that, like new products, I think it is. Then what I can do is, is I could uh, copy that or in embed it inside of my existing one. Let's see if I can do that. So if I see a newsletter that I have online in any sort of context, I can go ahead and copy and forward that or sorry, when I'm signing up to a newsletter, I can use this to avoid it going to my directing. So it rolls up into the existing one. So that's quite helpful when it comes to like future newsletters that I want to sign up to, but I don't want to sign up to because I have all that mess of newsletters. But as you can see here, you can read other people's newsletters uh, and you can see any links that you've saved into here. And there's a Chrome extension uh, that you can access up here. Now in the top right hand corner, you can access all the things like installing it, shortcuts and settings. Settings is just things like your um, your relevant account details. Uh, but my next brew should be looking pretty sweet. So I will share it in the video when it's all done. So folks, hopefully you found this video useful. I'll include the links to it below. In my opinion, um, Mailbrew is quite cool in terms of its setup, in terms of what you can sort of get started with. In terms of having the non-free function, I think it's whether you're somebody that likes the fact that you want your newsletters in one location or you want like a daily briefing. Um, a bit like you would uh, with like a Google Assistant app, but inside of one email that lands in your inbox. I quite like that concept. I'll be playing around with a my new brew for the next couple of weeks to see whether it's something that helps in terms of condensing information. I'm sure I'll add to it and tweak to it, but I quite like that you can change it uh, daily so that your next brew reflects the changes because obviously if it was a weekly one, it'd sort of be a long time to wait for the next bit of news, but that's quite interesting. And I think it might be helpful and more productive for me to be able to just see this email in a, a long thread uh, versus having to go to three or four separate applications. Um, but let's see. And as you can imagine, something that's probably best for people that have lots of different sources coming in in terms of news, media, and content. Anyway, folks, thank you very much. Let me know whether this is of interest to you, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.